In this lecture, we're going to discuss proteins which are natural polyamides. Uh, they're a special type of polyamides. Uh, they're a building block of uh, uh, living organisms. So proteins uh, are natural polyamides and and we're going to discuss uh, uh, the difference between uh, proteins uh, as polyamides and other polyamides that we studied uh, just before like nylon and Kevlar. There's, there's a very tiny difference. One difference is that the monomers of a protein uh, chain, the monomers monomers are amino acids now amino acid is a special type of molecule uh, which has a carboxylic acid group on one side so that is where the word acid comes from in amino acid so it has a carboxylic acid group on one side and it has an amine group on the other side. So it's it's a special type of molecule that contains both groups. Compare this with the with the monomers of uh, of normal uh, uh, polyamides like nylon and Kevlar synthetic polyamides. You had in that case you had an amine group on both sides and carboxylic acid group on both sides. But this um, amino acid is a molecule that has a carboxylic acid group on one side and an amine group on the other side. Now there are 20, 21 different types of amino acids that make up the make up uh, uh, all the proteins in a human body. So, so the only difference between one amino acid and the other amino acid is this box in between. This could be different. The carbon chain and the groups attached uh, in uh, in this molecule would be different over here. But this part remains the same. It's going to be a molecule that has carboxylic acid group on one side and an amine on the other side. To show how a structure of a protein is formed, I've drawn uh, four different monomers uh, amino acids uh, and the boxes are different in each case. That would show that the amino acid is different. Whatever is inside the box, whatever the molecule is, it's different. But they're all the same in, this, in the way that uh, they all have a carboxylic acid group on one side and an amine group on the other side. So I've drawn four of them. In a normal uh, protein uh, chain, there are going to be thousands of different uh, monomers, uh, amino acids joining together. So, so let's start with just four. Take four as a basic example. And uh, uh, the same thing, it's a condensation reaction. Condensation polymerization would occur. OH would be removed. H would be removed from the amine. OH would be removed from the carboxylic acid. Uh, ca carboxylic acid loses OH. Amine loses H. And so on and so forth. Uh, this H, I mine loses its H. So I'm going to rub off uh, uh, these H and OH groups. They end up forming water, which is why the word condensation. So let's uh, get rid of these uh, H and OH groups in between. And this will end up resulting in amide linkage. So, and get rid of this H. And finally, you, ha you are going to have an amide link this C goes and bonds with the N over there. This C over here bonds with the N. This C bonds with the N. And there's a continuation bond on both sides. So this over here is your amide link. It's also it's also called a peptide link in biology. So it, it is the same as a polyamide. It's C double bond O followed by NH. C double bond O followed by NH. So you have the same exact linkage. It's a polyamide. But in biology, this is called a peptide linkage. So this linkage over here is your peptide or you can call this amide link. Let's do a real example of drawing a polyamide and I've drawn uh, four amino acids. The four different amino acids and you can see that the structure is uh, pretty same except for the middle part the middle part for each amino acid is different it's different compared to the other one so so you have 20 21 different amino acids uh, making the human body the uh, the main structure remains the same there's a carboxylic acid group on one side and there's an amine group on the other side simply this monomer over here this amino acid has a carboxylic acid group on one side and an amine group on the other so same with this one and this one has a carboxylic acid and an amine group on both sides. So uh, the basic structure is the same. The middle part is different, which we were previously representing it with a box. Now, instead of drawing a box, I've actually drawn the middle part. So that's different in each case. 
but that really uh, shouldn't matter in this case uh, because the amide linkages would be formed when the condensation reaction occurs. The carboxylic acid group loses its OH, the amine group loses its H. This amine loses its H, uh, carboxylic acid loses OH, amine loses H, carboxylic acid loses OH, amine loses H and so on and so forth. So, so we're going to rub this uh, part. These OH and H groups, they end up forming water, which is why the condensation, the word condensation in condensation reaction. So the OH and H form water. This is for the sake of continuity because a normal uh, protein is going to have many different uh, monomers or, or uh, amino acid molecules joining together. So this C double bond O is going to link up with the N from the other uh, monomer. C double bond O links up with the N from the other monomer. C double bond O links up with the N and these are the continuation bonds showing that the chain is still continuing. So, so this is your polypeptide where uh, each polypeptide, uh, the chain has a C double bond O NH link, C double bond O and NH link. So these amide linkages are present everywhere in this uh, polyamide chain. So this is your amide or peptide linkage. So this is present everywhere. So this chain is going to continue on and uh, with many thousands of repeat units.